Over to seven. It's Fred Couples over at the seventh from behind the lava. Reachable par five in two. This one is headed right. <coughs> Look out. Oh, kaboing. That could be a pretty good bounce there. How about this one? Take a look at this. Fred Couples headed for the lava. He's going to have himself about eight feet per eagle. Nothing but net. We got to see Fred's reaction. Huh? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Just like I drew it up. Did he? Yes, he did. No problem. Doubles his score. Goes from minus two to minus four very quickly. And you know, I think we need to say here first in all of this, please come up with basically the same line that he's had beforehand. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, look at him. Can you believe that? Is this his day? Down in the hole. Is this his day or what? Oh, what a break. What a break. Oh, my God. Well, I tell you, when you're meant to win, folks, don't you think it's already written? Good. June 25th, 2000, Lee Trevino's date with Destiny. No doubt about it. Watch this. He just absolutely flat, cold blades it. Oh, man, that was going to go over the green so far. Carried right smack in the back of the hole. Oh, hit the flagstick on the fly. Frank, if it doesn't hit the flagstick, how far over the green does it go? If he doesn't hit the to the people the grand thing he could be halfway to the 11th ferry which is 50 yards away i mean that thing was that was bladed cold and bladed jim rocco still has this hole left to play and eagle doing a, a whole heck of a lot of good getting him back into contention he would and coming from the left side of the fairway you're really hitting it at the part of the green that he can't hit. he's hit that left up by the grandstands on top of the grand. Oh, this could be a nice bounce. Look at this. Hello. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I would have expected to happen to Rocco, the way he's going. <laughs> That's one way to play. Uh, Rocco's loving it, too. That's like one of those shots you see on TV, you know, off the, off the backboard, off the top of the rail, close to the hole. Incredible there. Off the top. <laughs> of the bleachers. Well, the good thing is he got it to hit soft up there. <laughs> that was key, though, Lee. I mean, not shot. everybody can land it soft on top of the... <laughs> <laughs> Great reaction by Rocco. Hey, 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 Oh, oh. 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 Take a deep breath, Orville. You're still alive. <laughs> oh, look at this. Boy, he came way out of that golf shot. Hometown boy. Hometown bounce. Marcy had a poor second shot in the left rub. Had a really down lie. He's turned an iron over. He's got an even tougher shot now. He's in one bunker. Has to carry over another green side bunker with a little green to work with. And it's heading for the bleachers. Hey, it's bouncing back. That was a pretty smart play. Right next to the play. These guys, I tell you what, they think they're everything. Look like a <laughs> Sam Jones bank shot. Of course, made that famous famous with the Celtics, and now you just say, well, you know, I catch that a little. You know what happens? <laughs> Denny, you're embarrassed because you've thinned it out of the bunker. You want to smile and you want to be excited that you got a break. But uh, this guy is smooth. He just plays by feel. Now he caught that right in the teeth. He just kicked the teeth out of that. Oh, great oh, shot. Oh, one way to get the cat in there. <laughs> That's how he played it, I think. I didn't know the wind was that strong against him. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be real impressive if he walks across that pond after that ball. <laughs> Good old Jim. This was Fuzzy Zeller just a moment ago, 173 yards, 16 total, and making a whole lot happen on this day at even par. Well, no the game real good back either. left, it's hung up in the rough. Mm. Okay, there he is. It's a tough chip, I think. 
Yeah, it's no good. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> You're not gonna blow. Pretty You're good. not gonna blow. There's some chance. No. No. You can't it. Please! He said that may be the loudest roar you have Whoa. ever heard out here on the Champions Tour. That is the loudest roar I've ever heard. That's right outside our trailer here. And I think the trailer came off the uh, blocks. I'll dive over at the 17th. Oh. <laughs> well, the Moki got him. Now, those of you that have been to Hawaii know what the Moki is. That's that little demon that sits up in the rocks, and if he likes you, he'll do that for you, and if he doesn't... The re one of the reasons he's playing a little chippy yet is he can fold it up almost a left to right shot. That'll help hold it over on the right side of that green. Wow. I like what you're trying to do. Well, he said it was going way right. Got a favorable kick. He keep rolling past the hole, but that for birdie to join Garwood just two behind triplet. Folks, I want you to watch this. I saw this on my monitor a minute ago. Now, watch this. Jerry Kelly, second shot at seven. Here is the oh. definition of a good break. Now, watch this. Oh. Into the lava once, twice. Hard path. Off the guy. Oh and onto the green. So, an eagle putt for Jerry Kelly. <laughs> What's going on seven? Oh, um, just another eagle putt for Kelly. Yeah. Are you kidding me? All set up by the second shot, which was a huge slice into the lava. But you know what? He took advantage of the break, and look at that. A big old double circle around the three and seven. That'll help your score. And if he goes on to win this championship for whatever reason, he would look back at that shot and say, that's where I want it, right there. There's a lot, lot of lava over there he can go kiss if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, a couple of Bernard Langer's golf balls over yeah. here are probably yeah. still in there. Now West Short. There was no hesitation that he was going for those 238 to the front left. Well, he's at the left hand side. This looks pretty good on if he carries. He's got a little right. Oh, it oh. hit a rock or something in the hand. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, down in the weeds, and hits there's a big rock right there in that penalty area, and he kicked right up onto the green. I don't blame you. You get plenty of bad breaks in this game. Enjoy the good ones. Well, sometimes you need those to win golf tournaments. Oh, certainly. This for his second PGA Tour Champions win. The other one also in Canada. I saw it hit the rock, bounce up on the green. I was uh, very happy.